Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera My name is Anwar bin Jusso uh, I am lecturer Polytechnic Sultan Mizan Zainal Abidin Department of Mechanical Engineering Under Unit Plastic In Department of Mechanical Engineering I teach a subject Plastic Technology And syllabus uh, Plastic Technology basically Is a uh, theoretical and also technical so the question is how is the learning process applied to ensure effective teaching of student accepted sense of fun and quick to understand in the classroom so I think this is the big question for a lecturer to be faced for plastic technology subject I should be highlight for key element in technique teaching among them are lecturer, student, methods, and problems. So lecturer must create, must create teaching and learning environment that can stimulate student interest while keeping in mind welfare and needs of student. Also the student need to ensure that student must take part in the teaching and learning process which create two-way communication in the classroom. And method, how about method? So, election strategy wisely can ensure a smooth and effective delivery of technology plastic subject. Among the method or technique used, for example, video, democracy, simulation, project, discussion in group or small group, and also use the method of WBL, word based learning concept of WBL word based learning for example in plastic technology I teach the topic of composite and explain on how the process of production of composite occur so I will explain briefly the method that used in process including for example hand layout process spray layout process partition process in the classroom so in class in the class, I was just explained in theoretical method. So my strategy in teaching plastic technology is I ordered some students went to the factory or industrial nearby polytechnic to go see how the real way to use hand layout process, spray layout process in production process making book, for example. And after that, next class, the student will explain again to the other partner in the classroom. So I think the method used is based on the applicable OBE outcome based education. And the last key is problem. In class, I try to identify the problem that occur in the process of teaching in the classroom and try to overcome quickly. Alhamdulillah. Through the concept of learning I practice in subject plastic technology in the classroom, I found that student in my class is always cheerful, enjoy, and encouraged on their examination result. Alhamdulillah. Today, I would like to share about learning techniques. Many students nowadays are left behind by an educational system. In polytechnics, we are exposed to many kinds of learning techniques. This is good for attraction and, and makes students feel more excited to go to the class. Session, we are exposed to the presentation in front of the lecturer. This technique is not only for getting marks in a group work but also to make others understand on what we present in the slide. The way students do student study learning is giving me more, more benefits and easy to understand on what they study. 
Not that all, the students feel more happy and excited to study in that class in that situation. Next, we are also exposed to discussion in a group. Our lecturer usually separate the students into a few groups and give a few tasks for them to do it together. Discussion session provides opportunities for collaboration ideas between each other. It provides students the opportunities to manipulate and apply course content, resulting in deeper understanding. It also can teach students to give their full cooperation and commitment in a teamwork. Last but not least is a visit to industry. Most of the students are more interested to visit site in industry. I as a student also agree with that statement because we as a student also like to see how they do their daily work by own self for real. Also, we can also gain experience and see how they do their daily work from A to Z. The workers are also give us fully cooperation by showing us some demonstration of process in making a product, for example, hand layout process. Through this concept, students will understand easily because they can see how the process occurs step by step. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Fatimati Muhammad Zaid. From Polytechnic Sultan Nizam Zainal Abidin. I'm one of the students of Mechanical Engineering Plastic, lecture by Tuan Haji Anwar bin Jusun. Before, Diana has explained to us about learning technique. So now, I would like to share a good effect of learning technique. The first good effects of learning technique is, is add my interest and join us in studying. Well, for me, it's hard to maintain focus and attention when all I hear is professor talking. But with learning techniques, uh, lecturer and students can cooperate and share in discussions and it helped me to be more focused and enjoy in study. It's also engaged students, make me wonder why, get me to think. Well, usually, during class discussion, lecturer gave good questions that can pick my interest. Make me wonder why, make me to think, and even motivate me to make connections with the content of learning. Another good effect of learning technique is I can gain new experience. In class, we not only study the theory, but we also give a chance to, to visit the industry ourselves. With visiting the industry, we can gain new experience and teach us the environment will be when we working. It also helped me develop skills and competencies required to become employable. Lastly, the good effect of learning techniques is I can develop important speaking and speaking skills. In this class, I'm able to learn, learn to speak up in the group. I'm able to convey and share the information with my group. and able to receive the feedback from the lecturers and my friends. It also can build my self-confidence. But sometimes, during class, lecturers will give the task to make a presentation and present it in front of the class. With this task, I can gather and increase my confidence and my skill to speak up in front of people to convey their information.